Today is Friday, and if you watched my last video, I am trying to get back into working out and really taking care of my body and just, you know, exercising, bringing my body back to a good, uh, what's the word, active place. <laughs> so today I'm following a YouTube video from uh, this girl, Gabriella. It's either like whited or witted. I don't know, but I'm gonna link her video down below because she's doing Kendall Jenner's ab workout from like three years ago. That's when the video was posted. So it may have changed from then, but the video looks like the ab workout is just really good and it goes really hard. And I haven't worked out my abs in a long time. So this is definitely gonna hurt, but I love when my abs hurt <laughs> after working out because it just means that I did a good job. I did the work and I will soon see results, hopefully. Um, that's how I think in my head when I feel pain in my abs after working them out. But um, I read a lot of comments and a lot of people said that after doing that workout, they saw results fairly quickly. So I'm excited. I'm gonna try it out today. Again, I'm gonna link it down below. So if you wanna try it, try it out, follow her video. Um, let's see how it goes. So I'll give my little review after I do it. <laughs> I'm a little scared, but I'm excited. Let's work out these abs. So I'm definitely like a little bit out of breath, but it was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I feel like watching the video almost made it look harder than actually doing it, but it still felt good. And like still get, I love after like an amp workout, you just kind of like see the tone, you know? So that, it was good and I would do it again. Um, and then I'm just gonna, I'll probably do it like every day and see what happens because it is all like good movements of working out every part of your abs. But I feel like I do better when I have like a workout and then I do like multiple reps of the workout or sets. I don't know. Like say you do, mm, I don't know, like, 20 bicycles or something take a rest and then do that three more times and then move on to the next out workout i feel like that but this at least was doing like cardio at the same time because it was switching from like one ab workout to the next so yay at home workouts we love it for lunch, I'm having my broccoli cheddar soup that I had made a little while ago. On um, In one of my videos, you can see if you scroll back a little bit, I am making it in the video and you can watch it and see my process to making it, but here it is. So yummy, I'm so excited. I feel like the best thing to do is make your own food and freeze it. So if you feel like you have nothing to eat in the house or apartment or whatever, you can just go right in the freezer and be like, here's my food. Because some 
store-bought frozen foods are just really not good for you so at least with this if you're freezing your own food that you made yourself you know exactly what is in it and you know it's all good does that make sense anyway i'm excited to eat my soup it's so good i'm so excited <laughs> I just got home from the movies. Are we surprised? I am not. <laughs> I love the movies. It's my favorite thing to do. And today I saw Being the Ricardos. When I saw that this movie was in theaters, I immediately bought tickets. I was already out and I was like, I'm going to the movies. I know what I'm doing now. And I was so excited because I love I Love Lucy. It's all about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz and, you know, their process during I Love Lucy. Oh my goodness. It was so good. It was so good. I love I Love Lucy so much. I grew up watching it and my whole life I have loved the 1940s and 50s and the golden age of Hollywood. That is my all-time favorite time period to ever exist and I feel like I was just born in the wrong time but I saw it and oh my gosh it was so good I can't believe I didn't even know that that was going to be a movie I saw it today and then bought tickets and I highly recommend, especially if you like I Love Lucy, because you'll just know everything that they're talking about and all the little um, memories, I guess, that they, you know, look back on and hint at. And oh, it was so good. It was so good. What I would give to be a golden age Hollywood actress. but I have those people to look up to and admire. <laughs> so anyway, that was my night. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I have a lot of homework to do, but apparently it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So hopefully I find something to vlog for you. We'll see, we'll figure it out. You'll see tomorrow. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Have a good night.